Hey guys, so today we're going to be reacting to the Dragon Ball Z Sparking, oh, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero gameplay showcase. We will see. I have no idea what to expect. I assume it's going to be a full match of gameplay, but uh, we'll see how things look. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it. Bandai and Namco. If I have to adjust the volume, I will. Let's make, make it a little louder. Uh, let's see what we got. A new Budokai Tenkaichi begins. We already saw this, obviously, like the first reveal kind of thing, right? The Vegeta vs. Goku first, like, real trailer of the game. Not just teaser trailer. There's the transformations. Yeah, this looks so good. I'm excited for this. Because this is... I've heard this is going to be, like, a 13 to 15 minute long thing. Frieza, yeah. Hopefully we get some gameplay of him today. Yep. There's Broly. Break the heavens, and then there's the transformation. There's Goku from the Super. Yeah, we, I mean, this is something we've already seen before, so this is nothing new here. Sparking Zero. All right, let's see what we got. What kind of new uh, new gameplay do we have in store here? Gameplay showcase. All righty. Move my camera up a little bit. Last December, yep. Yeah, they showed another trailer. Goku and Vegeta, yeah. I'm sure everybody's seen that at this point. It's like millions of views on that video. Mm -hmm. We are all very anxiously awaiting the release. New sequel to the long awaited Sparking series, which is the Tank Budokai Tenkaichi series in the West. Yeah, there it is. Yep. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We'd like to go, go into an exclusive glimpse into gameplay footage unveiling Sparking Zero's unique mechanics. Okay. Cool. Time to dive headfirst into an epic confrontation between two Okay, so it's going to be another Goku versus Vegeta video, it looks like. Is this from the story? No, it's not from the story, because this is like Super Vegeta with the uh, Dragon Ball Super version of Vegeta with that outfit, right? Okay. Alright, here we go. This is actual gameplay. There are like the name plates of the character. Let me move my camera back down a little. There's Vegeta's like HP and stuff, key. The music! The music like this is actually like just it's it's kind of surreal watching this. There's the key charge, yep. Dude, this looks so good. Oh my god, yeah, and there's the coming how okay. He's charging his key up, and it's, yeah, it's the same, it looks like it's like, sort of like the same mechanic. We saw the blue uh, start overlapping the uh, the, the uh, yellow key there, which is the same exact mechanic that we had in the prior games. There's the Gallic Gun. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is very, very traditional in terms of Budokai Tenkaichi. This really is like a true sequel, I guess, yeah. Okay. Are they going to transform? No. Notice how Goku's battle damage now because he took the uh, the Gallic Gun and then Vegeta also because Vegeta ate the... Uh... Oh, Final Flash? Okay. That looks good. Yeah, like look, look at like the, the dust and stuff. He's going blue? Okay, just go Super Saiyan. I mean, I guess because this is the Super version of Goku, right? I assume Vegeta's going to go blue as well. What is this? Oh. Dude, this looks so good. Look how smooth it is. This is 60 FPS, I think, right? Okay, Goku blocks the Galaga. Now he's gonna transform, yep. This looks really good, man. This looks really good. My hopes are so high for this game. Yeah, these are these are these are Budokai Tenkaichi combos. Okay. 
I kind of want to see a beam struggle. I, I hope they, they put this in there. Okay, just <laughs> constantly vanishing each other. That's like, also traditional Budokai Tenkaichi gameplay. All right. Oh, he's going to go um, sparking mode, I guess is what they're called. I'm calling this, right? Or that's, that's what it used to be called. I, I have to refresh myself on the terminology of Budokai Tenkaichi. Oh, okay. That's a long animation. Yeah, they are going to beam clash. Oh, the Broly Dimension Shatter! Dude, this looks so good! Okay, so Goku won the beam struggle. And that's it. Goku won. Vegeta, let's go again. That okay with you? This looks so good! Oh my god! Moving back. Camera. Preserve the essence of what made Budokai Tank. Yeah, they definitely did, it looks like, already from the trailer. Um, the same, like, combo sequences and stuff are in this game, for sure. Rush attacks and combos. We kept battle systems such as the Dragon Dash, which enables high-speed movement with the iconic counter system that fans know and love. Yeah, the, the constant vanishing. As well as the impact action, which allows intense fisticuffs or the exchange of energy plus. I love the Broly Dimension Shatter uh, effect they have in there. Uh, the graph, yeah. The battles themselves, but also the fun of just watching battles. Yeah, I mean, that was fun to watch. Ultimate Blast is one of the references in terms of stunning effects that can only be achieved on the current generation of consoles. So that obviously is a new uh, thing that they're putting into this game that weren't in the previous games. Yeah. This is... This is... Dude, this, this is what we were... This is what we've been asking for. This is a real... Real game here. I'd like to take the opportunity to go a bit more into detail on the new features as well. The game keeps the core mechanics of the series, but after some considerations, we've tweaked some and added new ones to better express the high speed and authentic battles unique to the Dragon Ball action. This is very, very, very promising, man. I. Okay. Break down four of them in detail using the battle video shown earlier. Okay, sure, let's see. One of the biggest changes was the, uh, to boost the normal movement, making it as fast as, as the dash. And the, yeah, look how fast they move. Allow a short dash that lets you move at lightning speed with a button that used to be for dashing. Yep. This change opens up more possibilities for movement attacks on the go and even more complex actions. It also lets the environment play a bigger role, I think, um, in the game. You can perform various actions to suit your style, such as dodging an opponent's attack with a short dash, unleashing a charged attack or even a key blast while moving or linking to a dragon dash to pull off a huge move in one go. It's a lot more of dynamic movement in this game. Also reduces actions using skill count that builds up over time during battle. So that's, those are the numbers on the left. Revenge counter, which lets you strike back while absorbing an attack. Uh, enables high speed attacks and defense that are unique to Dragon Ball seen in the original story. Yeah. Where characters launch an attack even when being hit. Super perception, a counter command that lets you counterattack in anticipation of various attacks. Uh, both can only be triggered when you have enough skill counts. I assume those numbers on the left side and right side for Vegeta are the skill counts. Um, the choices you have in the fight makes the game more fun while enjoying the distinctive element from Dragon Ball. Yeah, I mean, dude, this this is this looks really promising. We've added a new action uh, using key called Vanishing Assault that lets you approach an opponent instantly and swoop in. I'm sure you'll love this new option at mid-range, but it's uh, where it's hard to choose whether to attack from afar or get up close and personal. Yep. We don't want a game where you just sit in long range and do nothing, do we, guys? We believe that these new features will make the battles more Dragon Ball-like and more strategic. I Two thumbs up for me. Hope this demonstration answers most of the questions coming from Budokai Tenkaichi fans. Yes. That was very promising. Also wish to have captured the interest from the newcomers to the series who were looking for a flashy and impressive Dragon Ball 3D battle game. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you didn't play the other Budokai Tenkaichi games, you should definitely still look into this, for sure. Uh, beyond the battle system, there's another pivotal aspect I want to emphasize today. The characters. Okay, let's see. In our previous trailers, we unveiled a plethora of both familiar and new faces. New faces including characters from the anime Dragon Ball Super. And now we're thrilled to introduce a new trailer showcasing a wide range of characters joining the roster. All right, let's see it. We've been, dedica uh, we've been dedicated to developing an electrifying and intense battle experience. Stay tuned for further news of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. 
All right, let's see who we got. Let's see. I'm, I'm excited. Let's see. Um, hit, potentially. Jiren. Let's see if they show, like, a fusion. Like, like some big ticket character. Okay, we got Super Trunks. Nice. You'll soon understand the power. power. This is going to be the power versus Much speed thing from Vijo. Yeah, Dispo. <laughs> Thanks for showing Dispo. <laughs> we got to have a Dispo on every one of my videos somehow. This is the true might of a Super Saiyan strength. Oh my god, they have the explosive wave from the super explosive wave. Kakutsa! <laughs> okay. I, I assume they're gonna show Birder and Jeese as well at some point. Here. Master Roshi, max power, okay. I'm old, yes, but experienced. Founder of the turtles. Kamehameha, yeah, that's like, what is it, the, the original Kamehameha? That's what they call it in this game? Well then, like playtime. Nappa! Alright. <laughs> Further, yeah, there he is. Oh my god, that's a lot of that's okay. Topo. <laughs> oh, he does the uh, I forget what that attack's called. And there's Jeese, yeah. So I think they're gonna show the combo attacks here with Birder and Jeese against Topo, yeah. That does look really good. The purple comet. Yeah. Man, this game is insane, dude. Oh, we got Kale. Okay. Super Saiyan Kale Berserk. And then we got Super Saiyan Broly. Okay. Oh, that's full power Broly. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, there's the power up scene. Yeah, we got to get that in. Oh, we got Kale versus Broly. I think Broly. Uh... Oh, there's Hit. Time skip? Show us the time skip. Time skip. Yeah, there we go. You cannot oh my god, that looks so good! Overwhelming strength or matchless speed. There's the mouth blast. Looks like we've awakened a real bona fide monster. Okay, yeah, I mean, that was basically the trailer form of uh, what we saw from V Jump. And then we have more of the roster filled out. Wish list now. All right, I think that's pretty much all we had there. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> just really, they're talking about fighters here. Yeah, okay. Um, there we go. And then there's breakers. They're gonna like start like showing all these games now. Um, got Kakarot as well. Yeah, season pass two. We got all these games. Okay, I am very, very impressed. This, this, I, okay, so. Uh, I'm going to pause here, and I'll give my thoughts in a second. We'll, we'll pause. All right, so I'll have the uh, gameplay playing uh, once again in the background, the fight between Goku and Vegeta. But, I mean, dude, a lot of people were very, very hopeful about this trailer. Um, this is really the first time we're seeing actual gameplay um, in terms of, like, a full fight here uh, between two characters in this game. We've seen the uh, trailers. We've seen, like, the teasers. Um, and we've seen some scans, obviously, from magazines, of some screenshots. But this is really the first time where we're experiencing like what a full fight looks like from uh, Sparking Zero. And I really do think it's it's very, very well done. A lot of the mechanics, you can sort of see the skeleton of prior Budokai Tenkaichi games are definitely in full effect with this game. Um, and then obviously, like the, the, the uh, game producer talked about, they uh, certainly added on a lot of new uh, mechanics and a lot of new functions that um, are, are mostly possible due to the, uh, you know, new technology that's come out since the last Budokai Tenkaichi game, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 released, so. Um, I like all the different uh, dynamic effects in here. The dashing is a lot more, um, you know, it lo looks a lot more free in terms of fluid movements. Again, I think a lot of this is going to play into uh, the destructibility of the environment um, and how much the environment actually plays into the game as well. We saw Nappa earlier with like the, um, I forget what the name of his attack is called, but the attack where he blows up the surrounding environment. Um, this game, I mean, it's, this is the real thing, guys. Like, this, this is what we all wanted as Dragon Ball fans. So I'm really, really excited to see where they go from here. Uh, we still do not have a release date for the game, but I imagine it's going to be at some point later this year. I would say October through December, somewhere in that window. Um, I think if we look at most other Budokai Tenkaichi games release dates, a lot of them do fall into that October window. So... Uh, again, I would probably say somewhere October through December uh, this year. Um, at latest, I would probably say like spring 2025. I really can't see it being any later than that. This game looks really polished already. I mean, 
I'm sure if you paused at certain times throughout the trailer and were like, okay, this, you know, this one frame, Goku's hair doesn't look exactly perfect. You could probably nitpick and pinpoint a couple of frames where like the uh, the models look a little bit off or maybe there's like some distortion with, with the effects. But for the most part, I mean, just watching this on, on, on normal, you know, gameplay speed, it looks really, really good. So that's uh that's a really good sign for the future of this game we have a lot of characters to come uh, i liked all the different characters i showed off broly we got kale we got hit we got topo jason birder uh really really promising i think so far this uh gameplay trailer really uh, even further um increased my expectations for the game so as we get more news as we get more trailers as we get more information in terms of characters roster uh mechanics stuff like that i will continue to cover that uh all those things on this channel we will be going full uh, full sp head first, full speed into the game. We'll be covering everything. I'll be doing tons of streams, tons of videos about the game. We'll be talking about everything that has to do with Dragon Ball Sparkings here on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought of the trailer, uh, the gameplay showcase, and I will see you all in the next one.